I'm super excited to share with you today these DIYs that I made using mostly Dollar Tree items. Dollar Tree items? Yes. Let's get started. Okay, this DIY we're starting out with two of these little houses from Dollar Tree. I didn't find them in my Dollar Tree, so I ordered them online. So, you know, I ended up with 30 of them. So I've used them in a lot of projects. I took them to Sunday school. We did Sunday school projects with them. They're nice and thick, and so they work great in projects. I'm using Skeleton Key by DIY. I love this color. I love this paint. I love everything about it. So I decided I was going to do the inside part of this house. We're going to make a little planter and so that I wouldn't have to, you know, reach down in the inside and paint the inside, but wait till you see what I did. Okay, so I have these skewers from, or skewers, or I don't even know how to say it. These barbecue sticks from Dollar Tree, and they're the really long ones. I think they're like 36 inch ones. Um, they're the really long ones, so they're a little bit thicker. So these are the ones I'm using. I measured them each eight inches, and I cut a whole bunch of them. Now the ends of them were a little bit rough, so I just took my little sanding block and sanded them. So now watch closely I'm taking some wood glue and I'm just gonna put some wood glue on the edges here right but do you see where the painted side is not on the inside and I start putting these little sticks on here all nice and neat but I forgot to put the bottom on first and I don't have the painted side on the inside. And I never realize that until I get ready to paint. So I'm going to put hot glue on one end and wood glue on the other. And then I'm going to flip it the other way on the next one. And then I'd start deciding just to use hot glue because it worked better. Take those sticks off. Get rid of those sticks. Um, yeah, I ended up just using hot glue on the, on the rest of them after this one because the hot glue worked better just fine anyway I just put these large craft sticks some people call them popsicle sticks but I've never had a popsicle stick that big in any popsicle I've ever had but you know we know what they're talking about not really dissing anybody I promise so I covered the entire bottom with those large craft sticks now we're going to put these little bamboo sticks up and down both sides. I didn't put that all on the video because that would be redundant. Then I'm gonna take this skeleton key and I'm going to paint it all over this entire piece. Now I get my DIY paints from Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs and her link will be in the description box below. Now I'm gonna use my IOD stamp and my IOD stamp pad. I get those products from twochickshomeandmarket.com. That will be in my description box below as well. So she usually has everything that I use in stock. So be sure to pop over to her website. She has the cutest store in Denison, Texas, and you will love it. Okay, so I'm taking this. You can see that I'm just being very careful. Look at that detail. Being very careful to not move it when I have it on there. So I did the same thing on this side with that, that stamp. It was two different stamps. It's in the La Campaign um, stamp series. You can see that I did, dis did do a little bit of dry brushing on the front and sides. Then I was going to sand it down a little and I took it outside and sanded it with my orbital sander because it's a lot easier. Now I took some clear DIY wax. I get that from Sammy as well. All my DIY products I get from Sammy and I'm going to just clear wax this entire piece because if you don't clear wax or seal your DIY paints because they're clay based when they get wet it will reactivate that paint and guess what it will take it off it will be like you will be wet distressing when you don't mean to be so yes, always seal your products when you use DIY paint. I'm just going to take this twine that I got in the DIY in the oh my goodness in the automotive section at Dollar Tree and wrapped it around there, styled it with a little bit of lavender, and.
and this project is done. Okay, this next DIY is a total Dollar Tree DIY, except for the paint. So I am using some white chalk paint by Rust-Oleum. I did a couple of coats. Oh, thinking I was going to be so careful, but no, I just went to town on this. Then I decided to put some masking tape down to protect this little wood edge because I'm not going to paint it. I like it just the way it is. So I did a couple little messy coats on here. I didn't care if it was really um, nice and neat or not. I just need to cover it and make it white. And then I peeled the tape off and it looks, looks pretty good. Then I have these stickers and these rub-on transfers I got at Dollar Tree. I've had them in my stash for quite a while. I don't normally find good stickers or good rub-on transfers at my Dollar Tree, so I'm pretty sure I was probably out of town at a Dollar Tree when I found these. Now I'm just going to cut these down and cut out the pieces that how I want it to fit. Cut it to fit inside this little frame. And then I'm going to rub these transfers down in the center of this little frame. Just rub, 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 and then lift it as I'm rubbing it. That's the, the method that works the best for me. I'll rub it on all over, and then I'll just pick up a little corner, and then I'll rub as I lift that clear paper off. And that, that just works for me. See, as I'm lifting it, sometimes some of it doesn't come all the way up. And so I'll just lift and rub and lift and rub until I have it all up. And sometimes I use different things to lift and rub. I go back and forth. You see. Okay, now I'm going to cut off a little piece of that uh, paper that was on top. And I'm just going to burnish it all down. Just rub it all down where it is nice and adhered to that surface. Now these stickers are 3D. They're very pretty. They're a... Um, what, what color do we call this? Coppery kind of color, rose gold. And I'm just going to cut out the ones that I want. And they're thick. So I was going to use some transfer tape. And then I decided I didn't need it. And I just popped out all those little extra pieces. I'm going to put Believe, Love, Shine. And I'm going to put um, the one on the bottom, the one on the top. And this reminds me of that scripture verse. And I should have looked it up so I could have had it. That says... Um, let your light so shine before men. Something like that in Matthew something something. If you know it, put it down in the, in the comments. I will try to leave that linked in the description box below. But I love that. You know, we need to believe in Jesus, love Jesus, and let our light shine. And so I'm just going to pop these little stickers on there. And I love it. Now I took some of that crocheted soft little crocheted lace that I love from Dollar Tree with some little sheer lace from Dollar Tree and just made a little simple bow and glued it on. And I think this turned ador out adorable. It could be on a tiered tray. It can hang in a little vignette on the wall or a little gallery or whatever. Okay, next and last DIY. Now I did this piece right here in a challenge, in a comparison where I did salt wash and soda and I will link that video in the description box below in case you haven't seen it so that's what I did this so I was comparing how soda or salt wash would cover up this these glittery letters so I just did the salt wash with this um, what color is this this is the skeleton key and by DIY and I just stippled it all over the front of that Dollar Tree sign now, I painted these little square pieces of wood that I got these on Amazon, but you absolutely can buy these little square pieces of wood at Dollar Tree. I painted them white, and you can see I'm just using a chippy brush, a little old stencil brush, that, brush that's kind of worn out, and did some gray around the edges. And I'm using my DIY clear wax to finish out the surface, to give it a finished look. And I did all three of them exactly the same. Now, I picked up these little tulip cutouts at Joann's Fabric on clearance after Easter. So I do not remember how much I paid for them. They were $1.99 regular, so I know I did not pay more than $0.99 cents for them. So I'm going to use that pink and that yellow for the tulip part. 
and I started out with the sponge because I love to sponge paint but I ended up with this project um, with a paintbrush because I wanted it to be a little bit translucent maybe not complete full coverage with that wood I wanted it to be well I'm not really translucent I don't guess but I didn't want it to be super thick on there so I'm going to do two pink one yellow and then I'm going to use those two different colors of green I'm going to do the dark a little bit in the middle and then I'm going to take that little bit lighter green I don't even remember these were just some probably apple barrel or folk art paints and then I'm going to do that lighter around the edges I'm just kind of mixing them up a little bit whoa I know that one is sage that Italian sage or something like that and I'm just gonna kind of give it a little you know a little bit of dimension on the leaves and then I am going to glue those in the middle of those white squares um, I did do a little bit of white dry brush on this green piece that bluish green piece the background and I'm gonna glue those white squares down wait I'm gonna glue the flowers on the white squares first I think yes so glue the flowers down right in the middle of those white squares oh my goodness I am in love with this piece I mean you can just take some little inexpensive pieces put them all together tastefully and make something beautiful I'm loving that salt wash it gives everything such great texture and I've had, had a lot of people say that they've really had good luck with the baking soda they commented I had a lot of those comments on my video but I love the salt wash and if you love the soda then just keep using it that's all I have to say but I love it I get my salt wash from Sammy at unicorn dust designs on her website and that's that's where I buy mine okay so I'm gonna take this gingham ribbon that I bought at Sam's Club like three years ago I'm still using that big old roll so if you find at Costco or um, Sam's those big rolls of ribbon for like six ninety eight seven dollars they are gonna last you forever and it's very nice high quality ribbon and it there's a lot on that row so I'm you can see here I'm just making a simple simple bow not going to add any greenery to it or anything just keeping this very simple and adding some glue to it and then I, my tails kind of didn't lay exactly where I wanted them to so I glued them down a little bit too I did add a hanger to the back of this with some twine I don't show that on video um, but yeah I think it turned out really pretty Oh, I did put some twine on the bottom. I am going to show you how I wrapped a little bit of that twine that you get in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. Oh, maybe I did show you that I did this. Am I doing it on the... Oh, this is the twine around the bottom. Twine around the bottom. Sorry. Got a little confused myself a little bit here. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap it around about three times. I think this just added a little extra detail it's the small little details I think sometimes you can for my taste you can add too much extra little things to it but I think just the right amount tastefully done just makes it extra special okay I hope you liked this video please be sure to hit the thumbs up comment share it do all the great YouTube things but most of all, remember to be still and know that He is God. Be blessed, my friends.